Hello, this is Chiak. We are back again with another set of the Dream Machine where, uh, there is a cube there. What? It's like... Okay, I guess I have to wait for some more time to pass because... Barely any time passed. Ugh, doesn't seem to work. Well, it's because you keep moving. Stop moving. And I can... Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna... Ha I guess I just have to wait because... This thing is gonna take forever to go up, apparently. Okay, so I have to... What? Turn the cube once, use the features to gun on yourself, and wait for the ceiling to come down. So technically, I had to wait for the ceiling to come down? Okay, maybe let's just try to go enter the passage. We'll get ejected out of the, uh, the dream anyway. Sorry, Victor Neff, that I have to, uh, <laughs> to, uh, give you more nightmares of being, be about being squashed to death. See, my question is, how do I know if it's gone down enough, right? It's so loud, why? I mean, hopefully... Oh, I can examine the cube here. Cube seems huge from down here. I mean, it doesn't seem that big. So my question is, how do I know if it's, like, gone up or not? Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's enough time? Nope, still coming down. Okay, so I put the rod in there, but I'm not sure if that's what I need to do. Okay, let's just see if it'll crush me or not. The cube stopped the ceiling from crushing me. What? How did you do that? That shouldn't be possible. Okay, so I had to wait for it to come down then. Oh well, it doesn't matter. You won't be able to reach me regardless. And once I have the last piece, I'll come to you instead. Okay, so now he just stops bothering to crush me? Is that why I'm reading here? Okay. Well, at least the prism rod didn't get crushed. Can I take the remove prism? Thank you. Can I go through here now? I can now. Okay. Oh man, the the dark and tile thing, especially it's so difficult. So clearly this is supposed to... No offense, but 100% it looks like you can jump over that. It's too small. How do I... How do I make it big then?
Oh, we can't go to the bottom one. How about the... Is there anything on this side? This is where I found the other prism. Okay, I think I made of... I made of... This ledge is too high for you to... <laughs> what? The below prism is much larger now. Okay. Yeah. Because unfortunately, when you're scrolling and it's just straight up telling you what to do, you're gonna see th you're gonna see stuff. Scroll too far, but still had trouble understanding. What does this want from me? <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay. So, how much bigger? There. Okay, that matched to fit in your pocket, huh? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'd imagine I would need that again. If we can, I just wanted to see if we can see it through here, but I don't imagine we can. I mean, it wouldn't make sense if we can. Okay. So I thought the ceiling going down was like a constant threat I had to deal with, but I guess you just gave up. Am I using the... I was hoping we could use it with the gap or something. Okay, I can remove it, interestingly enough. No. Can it even fit? I was about to say, I'm <laughs> like, there's no way. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Stay, stay, stay. My bad, I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, like it definitely has to be this, right? Oh, I hate <laughs> Get go away. Can I just like can you leave this on the ground or something? trying to figure this out. Am I making this bigger? Can I? It's too big for me to pick up. I just wanted to see <laughs> if it was possible. Okay. It's... 
So I know for a fact I can't make it bigger, which would be hilarious if I could, but... Okay, so I can't do anything with that. Is there something here that I'm just not seeing? Uh, anything down here? No, that's done and over with. Huh. Okay. I... I've just... Make yourself small, turn right, you find impassable chasm of walled eyes, to the left, gigantic black stairs. Return to the poor room, go through the right doorway to the right where you found the prism rod. Or is it saying because the prism is too big it can't actually... So am I making the prism small again? Okay, it's regular size. No, he doesn't say anything. Doesn't say anything. Doesn't care to say anything. Okay. So that's what we're... Man, I don't know how I would have figured it out. I wish he kind of said something like, Oh, it's too big to... The light seems to be disrupting the monitor. place this? I'm sorry, is this... Okay, so there's a little indentation up top there. Ugh. If that was a detail there, I just can't see it. There's a light. There's a... There seems to be a thin path leading out from here. I would never have been able to see it if it wasn't for the beam. I wonder where it goes. Barely see it. Like, I can't really even see it on my. Pick up staff. What is this? It's a, sa it's a staff with a strange crystal on the end. Oh, come on. Come on. Or do I want to make the staff big? Hold on. Just in case. Okay. Well, I did what I need to do in order to make the the staff big.
So I know I need to disrupt the eyes. What Legion said to me. I imagine it's just a lot easier if I... Do I need to fit into that slot? Or maybe, so do I need to actually make it smaller? Yeah, unfortunately, you can't, like, interact with light here, so I'm assuming I have to... Okay, so I need to go back and make the staff of probably a normal size. Oh, I'm doing this the long way. I'm doing this the long way. Oh, right. <laughs> oh my god. Go through. Okay, let's follow the path. Okay, so... Thing is big now. I'm trying to figure out, am I trying to make this thing smaller or... Let's see. The only thing we... <sighs> This, this area for me is a lot of trial and error. Um, obviously the part I'm having, the, the hard part I'm having is like... The darkened tile was pretty hard for me to see. As in, I didn't realize it at all. You basically have kind of a black on black <laughs> setup going here, so... Don't mean much to me. Okay, so here's my question. And I would not have been able to tell. Can't combine them. So if I want to make it smaller, how would they make it smaller? Actually, what am I doing? I don't need to go all the way there. I can just go here. So I make myself smaller. The staff is now... The staff is too small to fit in the indentation now. If I put it in the hole, I would have a hard time getting it back out again. What? Is there some other place you can put this? Or do I want to put the staff in here? Keep it designed to hold the staff. Okay. Oh, I hate that. I really hate that. Because you're standing right in front of the object. Can this be used? 
So I'm trying to figure out, like... Am I going to get the same thing if I go to the where the staff indentation was over there? Oh no. I need the... Shoot. <laughs> I need the crystal. Because I can't make my way back otherwise. Okay. I like the idea of this as idea of this as a logic puzzle, but at the same time I find a lot of this kind of tedious right now. Constantly having to reach for this futuristic gun to make myself bigger, make myself smaller. Okay, so let's see if I get the same results, like, oh this indentation is gonna be I trick myself on the indentation if he's gonna say the same thing. Cause then the question becomes, what do I do next? Okay, so I make myself smaller. Now, do you say the exact same thing? Oh, you're standing in the way again. Hello? Okay, so he says the same thing. Um, to my knowledge, we can't make... Which annoys me, honestly, because... Hello? A staff with a large crystal at the end. I don't know, do I just go to the passage and maybe he'll do interact with the monitor, it's the only thing that I can think of. Because I don't think I tried that yet, so let's give that a shot. Maybe he'll like, lift the staff up himself and aim at the eyes. Oh, whoops, sorry, I keep forgetting. Oh, you staff with beam. The staff is now too small to reach the beam? Okay. So I need to make the staff larger. My bad. I... What? Oh god, I hate this. I wish there was an easy way to use this futuristic gun. Okay, so I need to make the staff bigger. Okay, shrink, pick up staff, regrow, walk out. Okay, now we go in. Just those a few eyes? Oh, it affects... Okay. I was about to say, I... That was too much for the screens to handle. But what did that actually accomplish? Managed to turn some of those creepy monitors off. I'm just saying, you could probably, like, uh do a bit more than that's just that area, but sure, whatever. Actually, you know what, I'm just gonna... We're just gonna stay small and make our way through. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I cannot be bothered. And all the, all the lasers are down.
Hmm. Nothing here that I can see. Alright, can I have a chat with the abyss again? No response. Okay. Okay, maybe I need to examine around. I'm wondering, do I want to pick up all the crystals? The rod seems to be stuck. Prison seems to be- okay, so they're all stuck now. Can't go there. Can't go there. Interesting. Okay. So my only option is to go through here. So there is maybe maybe I should have walked closer to that particular wall in the labyrinth. And then the door would have opened up. It's the only thing I can imagine. Is that what Legion meant when he said that was too small? Am I supposed to scale that thing? Doorway is too far away. Can't use the staff on myself. What am I doing now? Yeah, you know what? I'm just, I'm really fed up with this particular area, so I'm just going to uh, look this up and I can find where I left off in this, uh, this guide that I've been looking at. What? Walk on it, take and return to the poor room. There's one thing left to do in Martin's dream, but if you want the complete story experience, go left from the poor room and place the staff. Blinding the eyes. Okay, well, I'm getting spoilers for myself. Apparently, this. Hmm. So, apparently, this coincides with doing the, uh, the, uh, I think the next door, next door neighbor's her apartment's dream. Which is... I feel like there has to be a better way if this was supposed to be, uh, an experiment, experience where you're doing both sides at the same time. Like, there's gotta be a way to... To let me know that because so far it's always been a singular experience finish one person's dream then continue on to the next but now you're introducing that we have to do two people's dreams at the same time either there's a dialogue cue that i completely missed or it just or just wasn't telegraphed at all which actually does make this difficult at least I managed to blind some of those poor eyes. I can always come back later. So that means we need to put Selma to sleep. Let's 
Question is, how do we put her to sleep? Do we have anything? <laughs> Is she on any of the, uh... Yeah, see, that's where... Okay, right now I'm going to turn that to 7, I guess. But until I can get her... Is there actually a... Is there a phone in there? It looks like it. I think that's a phone right there. So I need to get her number somehow. I mean, I'm assuming... Do we? And I don't... Oh, we no longer have it. Okay. Oh, wait. We do have it. Hello? Oh, that was the end of it. My bad. Okay, so that's Martin. But what about the the lady? I don't think she's in here. No, she's not. She is not in here. Okay, so maybe I need to have either have a conversation with her. Let's check her mailbox. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to maybe have a conversation with her and see if we can get her phone number to to call in. You're still asleep. Morden, E. Jones. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can chat her up for her, her number. Oh, if you ever want a, I don't know, a cup of sugar? <laughs> people be asking for that these days. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Okay then. I know the feeling. I hope- oh, sorry, I'm not reading this. I was just kind of- I hope you don't find me rude, but I'm in no mood to entertain right now. Don't worry, but I'll just let myself out. So how do I get her... Contains fire equipment. Right, that reminds me, I need to grab the other receiver.
Yes? You again? I was about to ask you to lower the volume, but I think I'm seeing a pat- Are you trying to disturb me intentionally? Do I have to get the landlord involved in this? Please do. Oh wait, maybe she'll try to call Mr. Morden. She'll be by the phone. You want me to call and ask? Cause I will. I want you to call him. I don't think you do. I think you're just being childish. I'm trying to help you here, man. If I call the landlord, you get a complaint filed against you on your record. But I'm trying to avoid that because Martin might get involved as well. And he's a nice guy, all right? All right. Man, should I see they're like hoping maybe he'll like look at the How do I, uh... Hello? Anyone there? <laughs> if I... Like, do, is it just I have to get her angry enough to try to follow Mr. Morden? Because that's where her phone is. I know that for a fact now. Okay, what the? Selma feed. I have to make her fall asleep, so what, that's what I should focus on next. there's a busy dial tone. I guess he didn't. I guess he did not put the... I guess, I mean, it's the only thing I can think. Piss her off enough so that she was going to try to call Mr. Morden. So I guess enter her apartment again. I didn't turn off the music. I'm not doing again, that was awkward beyond belief. Here that I can look at? Exam jacket.
don't know how you disable a doorbell. Is there something I can do to increase the noise? Two umbrellas. It's a okay. Pretty grimy. At least it's working. <laughs> Why does that matter? Visiting all these dreams take a lot longer than I thought. I um how can I bother this woman more that she'll be calling Mr. Morton from the phone Do we have, uh, I don't know, do we have a stereo or anything like that? I don't imagine so, we're still moving in. Play the guitar. Just play it. Play it, become really loud. What do I have on me? I still have a beaker full of sleeping powder. Do I have to spike her drink or something? I'm willing to throw, just throw it right in her face. Won't go in, right? Yeah. I locked the door. <laughs> Okay. Nothing more. I don't know why he was looking through this kitchen. <laughs> if there is anything to see here. 
Uh, uh, what do I do? Who can I call? Do I maybe call the 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 people who like Mr. Morden has to have some sort of record of who everyone is, right? I even tried to get her to call him and she wouldn't. She wouldn't. Why would you tell them that you're Victor Neff and then... I'm afraid not. Okay, so I tried asking them. She doesn't... She didn't employ our services. So we don't have her on file. Alright. Oh, come on. Really? Like, he has to have a file somewhere. It has to be somewhere... Jess. Okay, in the washroom, there's no way it's going to be in the washroom. I do not see how that could be. I need her to, like, get some mail. Anything, please. Okay, either way, it turns out I actually have to end the set here. So, thank you for liking if you liked. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya!